go in sight. What did I tell you about you and your orders? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Kate and Antony moments in Bridgerton. What are you doing? Say you do not care for me. For this list, we'll be looking at the most romantic scenes featuring the leads of season two. We will be discussing major plot points from the show and the original source material, so a spoiler warning is in effect. Does our list vex you? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Lady Danbury's Conservatory Ball Kate makes her mind up about Antony when they cross paths at the first ball of the season. You. Pardon me, my lord. I never got your name. I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable, my manners genteel. Having already met on a morning ride, Kate recognizes him before her family is formally introduced by Lady Danbury. She overhears the Viscount discussing the qualities he's looking for in a bride and is turned off by his standards. But you were eavesdropping. It was hardly an effort, seeing as you were proclaiming your many requirements for a wife loud enough for the entire party to hear. You take issue with my requirements? I take issue with any man who views women merely as chattels and breeding stock. Their following confrontation sets them at odds with one another and begins their journey from rivals to lovers. Kate's razor-sharp wit is demonstrated in this moment as she insults Antony, but she lets it slip that she finds his smile pleasing. So you find my smile pleasing? I find your opinion of yourself entirely too high. Your character is as deficient as your horsemanship. I shall bid you good night. Although Kate and Antony are more combative than tender at this moment, the chemistry the two have is becoming evident. Number 9. The Hunting Trip Kate's intellect and talent for sport become apparent during this group outing with the men of the Tawn. Ladies do not hunt. Do not or are not allowed to. I am certain Lady Danbury can spare me to act a chaperone. Oh, what fun you will all have, getting to know each other all the better. It's atypical for women in the fantastically historical world of Bridgerton to possess Kate's shooting and tracking skills. Was it is rather like you, leaving everyone behind? No one wishes to hear what you think you know about me, my I lord. I do not need to think, I know. From the moment I saw you riding alone in that park, it was obvious the rules are meaningless oh, to you. you and your rules. Despite his desires for a bride with gentle manners, Antony can't help but find Kate's competitive nature attractive. When Kate insists on following a set of tracks, the two separate from the group in pursuit of the animal. The proud and independent lady is initially resistant when Antony insists on showing her how to properly hold her gun. I know how to hold a gun. Evidently not a British one. You have to... I Here. require no instruction. She eventually allows the gentleman to adjust her grip, and what follows is a classic romantic trope. Number 8. The Pall Mall Game As one of the most beloved scenes from the books, we were excited to see the Pall Mall Game depicted on screen. What do you say, my lord? Are you in a losing mood? My mood shall remain unchanged, regardless of your choice. Ah, is that so? You would bravely bear the crushing shame of defeat. The Bridgerton siblings' quick wit and competitive natures are at their best during the croquet-like sport. When the Sharma sisters are thrown into the mix, Kate fits right in thanks to her own athleticism and competitiveness, while Edwina struggles to keep up. Kate and Antony banter more than once during the game, and their rivalry lands them both in a pit far from the others. Your play, my lord? Unless you do not wish to dirty those fine boots of yours. Do not worry about my boots. The tone shifts from combative to playful as the two share an intimate moment covered in mud. Despite their antagonizing, Kate and Antony's chemistry is undeniable in this scene. I believe I <laughs> underestimated you, Michelle. <laughs> that seems to be the theme of our acquaintance, does it not? Number 7. The Bee Sting Based on the series of novels by Julia Quinn, the Netflix show takes a few departures from its source material. For one, it's Antony and not his sister Eloise who witnesses Edmund Bridgerton's death. Father. Oh, the damn thing stung me. Whatever. Father. The oldest son is in his late teens when his father's early demise is brought about by a honeybee. Ten years later, the outcome of Kate being stung also differs between book and television. Are you hurt? What? 
Can you breathe? It is only a sting, of course. Are you certain? Menor. On the page, Antony's reaction is witnessed by a third party and the couple is forced to get engaged. Comparatively, their interaction on screen remains an intimate moment between the two. Kate comforts Antony as he begins to hyperventilate. It was just a pee. It's clear that in addition to playful banter, the two find emotional support in one another. Number 6. The Wedding one moment unique to the Netflix series is Antony and Edwina's wedding ceremony. In the book, the Viscount gets engaged to Kate before he could walk down the aisle with her sister, while the on-screen story sees Antony and Edwina make it all the way to the altar. And therefore is not by any to be enterprised, nor taken in hand unadvisedly, lightly and wantonly. Even as he prepares to exchange his marriage vows, Antony can't help but to imagine the maid of honor as his bride. My lord. When Kate accidentally drops one of her bangles during the ceremony, Cantonese chemistry becomes undeniable. The groom retrieves the piece of jewelry from the floor and offers it to Kate while still on his knees. Rami. This moment demonstrates that their connection is instinctual and can't be suppressed during even the most inconvenient of times. Number 5. The First Kiss After exposing their feelings for one another during the wedding ceremony, Kate and Antony are forced to face the consequences of the fallout. You have feelings for him! All this time, you wanted him for yourself! No, that is not true. Oh, you cannot deny it now, Kate! The two individually wrestle with the weight of their choices until they're both summoned back to the chapel. There, the bride confronts her former fiancé and older sister. We won't lie, Edwina deserves her moment telling off the two people who ruined her wedding. We have indeed failed, my lord. Of our duties. Of our responsibilities. We have failed at it all. That said, we still cheer when Kate and Antony share their first kiss after Edwina leaves. Although it's not clear what their embrace means for the future, it's satisfying to see the Lord and Lady finally give in to their passion for each other. Number 4. Too close and not far enough. Do you even know all the ways a lady can be seduced? The things I could teach you. I did not ask for this. By episode 5, it becomes clear that Antony and Kate are barely keeping their passions at bay. Why is it that you dislike me so? Because. because you vex me! And what is it do you think you do to me? They had already nearly been caught by Daphne at the Hearts and Flowers Ball. As marrying Edwina would mean Kate going back to India, Antony is faced with a dilemma. But I am leaving for India. And it is not far enough. Do you think that there is a corner of this earth that you could travel to far away enough to free me from this torment? Held to his standards of honor, Antony cannot give in to his growing love for the sister of his intended, but knows full well that the latter will eventually win out if he goes through with the marriage. You are the bane of my existence. And the object of all my desires. Jonathan Bailey's performance, conveying utter desperation at little more than a whisper, makes the scene a feast for the senses. And with the sound of only their breathing to punctuate the moment, the audience is left practically screaming. Impossible. <sighs> Number 3. The Featherington Ball This moment comes during the first successful outing for the Bridgerton and Sharma families after Antony and Edwina's failed wedding. Despite the risk to their reputations, Antony and Kate engage in conversation while at the ball. Are you going to ask me to dance? One last time. Are you going to say yes? 
When the two begin to dance together, the other guests stop so as to not be associated with the scandal. Alone on the dance floor, Kate and Antony zone out the rest of the ton and zero in on one another. Both Edwina and the Queen publicly bless the couple, and Queen Charlotte commands her subjects to join back in. I think they look beautiful together. Beautiful indeed. Do they not? Do they not? Oh, oh yes, of course. Yes. 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 Then why is no one else dancing? While we love to see our power couple have their reputation saved, the way Antony encourages Kate to keep dancing is what really makes us swoon. Do you want to stop? Just keep looking at me. No one else matters. Number 2. Kate's Rescuer the rainy morning following a romantic night in the gazebo, Kate wrestles with her feelings for her sister's ex-fiancé. Despite her fear of storms, she takes off on horseback and rides into the fields. Antony follows not far behind and witnesses Kate being thrown off her horse. As we know, Antony is no stranger to tragedy. He is scarred not only by his father's passing, but also his mother's reaction to losing her spouse. His experience with his parents informs his decision to pursue a loveless marriage. You cannot mean that. I seek an amiable partner with whom I may share a pleasant life, untouched by heartbreak and the ravages of grief. Not even the Viscount, though, can resist love when it appears. Although he tries to deny it, Antony is finally forced to recognize his feelings for Kate when he is faced with the potential of losing her. What happened? My valet saw you carrying the Sharma inside. Is she all right? I didn't know. Are you all right? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Horse Races. Antony could stand to learn a thing or two about horses and women. Today the track is soft and it is hot, meaning he will struggle to make headway, overheat and slow down during the final leg, giving High Flyer a much swifter, lighter, cooler horse the victory. You think too much about it. And you too little. Antony's stumble. A jealous Viscount takes a dip. Refreshing indeed. Come now, it is not proper to stare. Epilogue. Happily Ever After includes Pall Mall with the Bridgertons. I suppose that means they are cutting out. No, 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 no we're not, not cutting out. Unless we want to take this opportunity to return upstairs. And admit defeat? Never. The First Meeting. We love a meet cute on horseback. We've not yet been introduced. I'm afraid that is not possible. Not when I have a victory lap to enjoy. <laughs> Newton's approval. Even the dog can tell Cantony is meant to be. My apologies. Newton, out. Newton, out. Was I truly that blind? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A Mutual Confession of Love I've loved you from the moment we raced each other in that park. I've loved you at every dance, on every walk, every time we've been together and every time we've been apart. You do not have to accept it, you do not have to embrace it or even allow it, knowing you, you probably will not, but you must know it. This Rivals to Lovers romance results in a garden proposal during the Featherington Ball in the season finale. Having overcome his engagement to her sister, the risks to their reputations, and their annoyances with one another, Kate and Antony can finally admit to being in love. This moment varies from the source material in that Antony and Kate get engaged embracing their feelings for each other instead of resisting them. You do know there'll never be a day. Will you do not vex me? Is that a promise, Kathani While neither were looking for a love connection before they met, the Viscount and future Viscountess can no longer deny the nature of their relationship. After an entire season of watching our leads suppress their emotions, it's satisfying to see them finally choose love. Wow. 
It seems the two of us are finally seeing eye to eye on something. I suppose we are. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.